Hi, welcome to today's show where we use acronyms to teach you how to shoot free throws. I'm your host slash coach, Jason Dugan. I've learned this technique back when I was about 9 or 10 years old at a basketball camp, and it helped me improve not only my shots, but also my free throws. Before we get into the actual beef, though, we're going to talk about a couple of fundamentals. First fundamental is when you shoot the ball, you want to get it in a position where there's a little bit of a gap in between your palm and the ball. The reason you want this is so that when you shoot it, it will roll off your fingers a lot more easily, where if it's like this, it could come off all kinds of different ways. Also, when you're shooting it, the last finger that's going to touch the ball is obviously your middle finger, as it's the longest, and it's going to help ensure the ball goes straight. Along with that, you want to be sure, basketball is all about muscle memory when you shoot. When you shoot a free throw, it's the same thing. You want to shoot with your legs and your upper body. So when you do that, you're going to get to the line, and we'll talk about the other techniques a little bit later, but you're going to get there, you're going to bend your knees, and you're just going to go up all in one motion with the ball, like I mentioned earlier, a little gap in between the palm, and then you're going to just shoot it. Um, you want to grab the ball with your right hand, if you're right-handed obviously, like this. Your left hand is going to be there on top just to help balance the ball. You're not really shooting with it, it's just there to help guide the ball as you release the shot. So if you're left-handed, same thing, get it right there, right hand on the side, just to balance it. So getting into the beef, we'll briefly go over what each act letter stands for in that acronym. The B is for balance. The E is eye on target. The second E is elbow in. And the final one is follow through. We all know how important the free throws are in basketball. When you're in little league basketball, you know, you go to the free throw line at the beginning of the game, everybody gets to shoot. You get points if you make it. In the NBA, free throw shooting is just as essential. You have to be able to shoot free throws to win games. All the good teams do it. So starting with the B, we'll start off and we'll use these shoes here to demonstrate what I mean by balance. The first thing you want to do is you want to square up to the basket, shoulders straight on with the goal. You're going to get your feet shoulder widths apart, about like this. If you're right-handed, your right foot slightly above your left foot. Left foot, same thing if you're left-handed, just slightly above. And this creates balance to where you're not falling forward, falling backwards, or falling to the side. You want it all to be the same thing every time as you shoot the basketball. So you get up to the free throw line, you get your feet right, shoulder widths apart, and you want to do the same thing. You notice this in the NBA whenever anybody shoots the basketball, same thing over and over again. You see Dirk goes to the free throw line, he gets up, takes the two dribbles or whatever, bends his knees slightly inwards, however he does it. You know, there's some guys that like to swap the ball around their back a couple times. You want to make it the same thing every time, whether it's one dribble, two dribbles, and shoot, however. But once you get up there, you're going to do the balance. You're going to get up, feet shoulder widths apart, right foot slightly above the left foot, or vice versa. And the thing, if you're right-handed, you want the, your right foot to be directly in front of the goal, right in the center. Same thing if you're left-footed. You want your lead foot to be straight and center so that when you go up to shoot, it's actually in the middle of your shooting. The first D is eye on target. So when we get back from a commercial break, we'll finish the beef illustration. And until then, we'll be right back after a commercial break. Thank you. Have you ever been at the park with your friends? ready to play basketball like Michael Jordan, but your skill set just wasn't up to par. Man, hold up. Drink Athlete's Choice. Check up. It makes you do things you thought were never possible. Man, where did that come from? Athlete's Choice. It makes a difference. part of beef in the first half of the show, we'll quickly go over that one more time. Balance. You want to do whatever your regular routine is, take the one dribble, two dribbles, whatever it is, wrap around your back, 
but then once you get to the free throw line, it's all about beef. The first B is balance. Your feet's going to be shoulder width apart, depending on if you're right-handed, left-handed. Left you're going to have that dominant foot a little bit in front of the other one just to display good balance so you're not falling from side to side. You also want to make sure your nose stays behind your knees while you do this. And so the first thing we briefly talked about was eye on target. What you'll do is once you get to the free throw line, you'll look at the same target everything, every time, whether it's the front of the rim, back of the rim, net. You just pick the one spot you want to look at every single time you step to the free throw line. You'll do this just to make it the same every time, like I was talking about with the other NBA players. Um, personally, I like to just look at the backboard itself in general. You'll get there. You never watch the ball as you shoot. You don't want to be watching it like that. You want to have your eye on that same target all the way through your shot when you do that. The second knee is elbow in. When I was showing you about the technique a little bit earlier with the right hand slightly, a little slight uh, hole in between the palm, I was showing you where the elbow is in here. A good way to tell whether or not your elbow is in is if you can do this, just standing right there. If your elbow's in, the ball's going to be a little wobbly. That's also why you have your left hand to help balance it. But you keep your elbow in and you just go up. You follow, shoot just like that. Keep your elbow in. You don't want it out like this because that's taking away a little bit of power from your shot. By doing it like this, you're keeping it straight and it's going to keep the ball straight. We also talked about how you want your middle finger to be the last one off. As long as you do that every time, that last finger coming off, it should be straight. A good way to help practice this and keep it regular is you're just going to get up to the goal like you're shooting a free throw, keep your left hand completely off the ball, or if you're right-handed, the right hand off the ball, and just shoot it, just like that every time. And it'll build camaraderie with your muscle memory, and you'll be able to practice with the elbow in. And if you're shooting like that, it's going to be a little bit harder to get the ball up. So you keep that elbow in nice and tight, and go up and over. The final shot, or the final part of beef is follow through. This is the part that you see a lot of the free throw shooters that struggle in the NBA, the Dwight Howards, Shaquille O'Neal's, um, Blake Griffins. This is where they have a little bit of trouble. It's just to follow through. It's simple. You want your release point to be right here, elbow above your nose. If you notice, a lot of times they're shooting, they're right here. It's straight. If they would just go up with it and follow through, they'd probably make a lot more free throws. Um, what this also does is it's getting the arc on the ball so you can have the shooter's touch. A lot of times you see Dirk Nowitzki when he shoots, he shoots and he has that shooter's touch and he's able to get that bounce every now and then. When you're shooting it straight like that, it's going to be a little bit harder to get that roll. If you hit the front of the rim, it might roll in, but if you're shooting and you're getting it to the back of the rim, it's just going to bounce right back to where if you're going up and getting that arc on the ball, you're able to get that bounce every now and then. Um, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, what he did a lot of times was he had a big disadvantage because his hands were so big. And so he would just get up and kind of shoot like that all wrist, which is great, but you got to get that elbow up. So briefly to go over each one of the steps again in beef, you want to have balance. You want to get to the free throw line, get your feet set, right foot slightly above left foot if you're right-handed, left foot slightly above right foot if you're left-handed. You want your lead foot to be center in the goal. When you get up there, you want to do your normal routine, whether it's one dribble, two dribbles, whatever it may be. And then you want to get your eye on target. Whatever you look at, whether it's front of the rim, back of the rim, net, whatever it may be, and that's what you're going to look at every single time. Next thing, you're going to get the elbow in and then just follow through all the way in. If Shaquille O'Neal would have used these, he probably would have been a better free throw shooter. Thank you for joining me today. See you next time.